In this video, I'll take you through a practical beginner's tour of the main panels in RStudio as an ID for R programming and Rodeo as an ID for Python programming. So you can start your analytics journey immediately when you participate in the first session of our classes without wasting time on basics. This method shifts uh, traditional teacher-centered instructor to flipped classrooms, also called the uh, inverted classroom method, to save time and equip you with the knowledge and the skills required for our classes. So Philip uh, classroom or Philip in the classroom means what uh, means that you gain your first exposure to new materials before our classes are started with these lecture videos. And then uh, we can use class time to do the harder work of uh, assimilating that knowledge through problem solving, case studies, uh, discussions and debates. Okay, so let's uh, <clears throat> begin by opening our studio and Rodeo. If you don't see them in your taskbar, simply search for them in the search bar. Uh, once you open RSTDU and Rodeo, uh, you will see normally four panels. Uh, please notice that if you cannot see four panels, uh, maybe you can see three, one might be hidden at the back of another. Okay, so you can find it by minimizing the panel in front and uh, you can see that maybe one panel is hidden at the back of the other one. So the upper left panel in both is the source panel uh, where you will write and save your code scripts in a, a script file. When you open Rodeo for the first time, you can see some examples codes in the source panel. You can run these codes by clicking on the run icon on top. Okay, as you can see, this is similar to our studio. So to create a new script file, go to the file menu, select new file and choose our script, uh, write your code in the source panel and then you can save it. Uh, to run the code, you can highlight the lines that you want to execute, go to the code menu and uh, choose run selected lines okay so this source panel allows you to recreate your output later uh, because you can save your code you can open it again whenever you want it and run it to reproduce any outcome of your analysis so the lower left panel uh, the lower left panel is where you can see the results of the code you run so it is different in RStudio and Rodeo, as you can see here. In Rodeo, uh, you can see a terminal tab here. You can see the outputs and directly interact with Python by typing comments and executing code. It means if you have one line of code to run and need to, uh, the result immediately without saving the code for the future, you can write it here in terminal. Okay, not the source panel and click enter on your keyboard after writing the code and the code will run and you can see the result immediately. In our studio, uh, you can see the console is doing similar. So in our studio, you can run our code and see the results immediately in the uh, console tab. Okay, so let's see an example also here. But you also have a terminal tab in RStudio. The terminal is what is like the backstage manager offering you a direct connection to your operating system command line. Okay, it allows you to execute system commands and access external tools that might not be directly available within RStudio. So this backstage access can be handy for some specialized task or when you need to work directly with what? With the operating system, okay? So let's see some examples. 
uh, you can change the directory uh, with this cd command uh, it is used to navigate to a different directory or folder in the file system you can see the contents of a directory or a folder uh, list directory contents it displays what the files and directories presented in the current directory uh, you can use this ls uh, comment and also the comment the other comment that you have for this is the directory the dir okay that was for the ms dos before and the ls that says the unix uh, comment so they will give you more information about the list of files in the current folder and you can make the directory uh, you can copy the directory you can move the directory or you can remove it okay to delete the files and directories from the file system so you can do all of them directly from the rs studio by using this part so it's a great facility for managing your projects uh, and that is good to have access to these comments uh, from the rs studio in rs studio you also can see a tab named uh, background jobs okay so with this facility of background jobs uh, you can run several tasks or processes independently without blocking our studio for other tasks okay so it means what it means you can execute one code or use different parts of our studio without waiting for the background job to complete uh, so let's see an example you can click here you need to define the directory of your code, the directory of your data. And if you need the results to be available in the global environment, you can click here. Okay. So this is of course a facility that you don't need at this stage, but uh, it is good to know about it. So moving on the upper right panel, you will find the environment panel. This shows the data sets and the variables you have created. In this panel, you can see and manage your variables and data sets. In the environment panel, you'll see the variables you created. To clear the environment, simply you can uh, click the broom icon here. Okay, you can see this broom icon also in console and plots with the same functionality. So finally, uh, the lower right panel contains tabs for plots, help, packages, and more. So plots uh, will show you the results of plotting the graphs in your source code. Uh, let's try a simple example. Of course, you can see more examples in the class by the case study that we have. And you will see the results in the plots panel by simply writing this line of code. And if you have multiple plots, you can navigate simply using uh, these arrow keys here. Okay, so you can go forward, backward to see the different graphs that you had. So the packages, uh, we have the packages tab allows you to install and manage specialized libraries for your work in both R and Python. Uh, packages are like magical toolkits that make programming easier. Okay, so they are very, very nice tools. Uh, they are like treasure chests, okay, filled with special functions and tools that help you to uh, do what? Do amazing things without writing lots of codes from scratch. So they can help you with data manipulation and machine learning with only one step. Call on the fantastic uh, relevant uh, packages uh, and load them into your program and that's it. You can run it and you can write only one line of the code and you can uh, have the results. So we also have the help tab. 
right? The help provides information on functions. Just type a question mark before the function's name also can give you the help uh, to know more about that function. Of course, a good source before asking me your questions is this help and you can find a lot of good information here. So to sum it up, uh, use the source panel for scripting and saving your code and the console panel for interactive work. The environment panel shows your variables and data sets on the memory. Uh, while the lower right panel provides access to plots, help, and package installation. Okay. So here uh, you can see some packages that are famous in R and Python and uh, provide powerful tools to solve a wide range of data analysis, visualization, machine learning challenges. In R, some of the main and most famous packages are what? Uh, the ggplot2, for example, for creating uh, nice and sophisticated data visualizations. We have also the DPLYR for data manipulation and transformation tasks. Uh, we have the carrot for machine learning and predictive modeling. We have shiny uh, for creating interactive web applications. Okay, so for web application with R, you can use this shiny. Uh, we have the migrator for enhancing the readability and flow of code. We have data table for fast data manipulation on large data sets and the TD models uh, for uh, unified frameworks for what for modeling and machine learning tasks. Okay. Uh, of course, the Plotly is very famous for creating interactive plots and dashboards. Okay. So in Python, some of the main and most important packages are what the NumPy for numerical computing and working with arrays. We have also the pandas. Uh, the pandas is used for data manipulation and analysis, okay? Uh, especially for tabular data. Uh, we have the matplotlib um, for creating a static interactive and uh, publication quality plots. So very nice plots from here. And the Seaborn for a statistical data visualization uh, that is also based on the matplotlib and the uh, scikit-learn for machine learning algorithms and model training. Okay, you have also the TensorFlow, the PyTorch for deep learning. We have the SciPy for scientific computing and advanced machine functions. And uh, for natural language processing and text analysis, we have the NLTK. Okay, so these are the packages that uh, uh, you can see as examples. So let's explore a simple example here, similar to what we will use in the class. So if you do not have one of these packages loaded on your computer, these are the ways that you can load them uh, from package repositories. Okay. Uh, that is different uh, from the R to the Python. So that's enough for this part. And in the following video, we will explore more how to make the RSTDU and Radio ready for a new code uh, to ensure we are not overwriting an important variable or not using an old value by mistake. Also, some overall setting uh, of the computational environment important to know.